Baker Tri-State football here at Lakota West with the new Firebirds head coach, Tom Bolden. And Tom uh, had a great run there at Colerain, but now you, you've you inherited something of a mess. <laughs> I mean, you're looking on paper. Team's only won eight games over the last three years, only scored 90 points last year, seven times, seven points or less. Uh, there's a whole bunch you've got to get corrected, isn't there? <laughs> You know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't look at it like that. But now that you said that, uh, no, I, listen, that's an opportunity. I mean, yeah. that's, that's, you know, it's. I've been asked about challenges and all this kind of stuff. I just view them as opportunities. Um, you know, part of the equation, how things worked out, is you know, uh, hardest decision I ever, you know, had to make. Uh, you know, leaving Coleraine, but coming here, uh, you know, this time spent with these kids has been such a great decision. And you know, I still miss those kids at Coleraine every day. But, but I, I've got some new ones here that I love dearly, and and uh, it's an opportunity for us. I think we got everything we need in place here to be really, really good. And. Uh, and, and we're going to make that happen. Well, how do you change a uh, culture to a winning culture? I mean, West has been around. They've had some good seasons, but never consistently winning season year after year. How do you change that culture? That's yeah, simply just you just work harder. I mean, just work harder. And, and, and I'm not saying from a physical, just a physical standpoint. It's the mental standpoint, too. I, I've been training them much harder physically and mentally. And that, that, that that's exactly what it is. I mean, we just fine-tune some things. I mean, they're, they're, they're athletic. They're big. They're all that great stuff. It was just how we were going to train physically and mentally. And that's what we that's what we totally flipped it. And, uh, and I think that's what's going to put us in a position to be pretty darn good. Well, the cold rain way on offense was a difference, you know, uh, the option, the triple option. And uh, now you get a chance to step out of that box a little bit. The kids were taught a certain way all the way growing up through that program. So tell us a little bit about your scheme on offense. What are you going to run and, and uh, what, are we going to, what should we look for? From yeah, the well, we're going to be multiple. You know, our, our biggest thing is we're going to be really good up front. Uh, uh, we've got some tall, long kid, athletic kids on the outside at receivers. Our running backs are, are really, really special. Uh, we obviously with David Afari back, and then we got a young man, Aiden Miller, uh, uh, who's pushing him. And then uh, we've got another young man who's come back from the uh, played baseball, is going to play football his life, and decided to come back for football. So uh, we're 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 really good up front. Uh, offensively, we're really good at the wide receivers, and we're, we're really good at the running backs. Our big thing is we got a couple kids battling now for quarterback, and uh, and that'll kind of be the wild card with it. Uh, they each have their own strength, uh, but we're going to do what. A lot of what I've done, uh, it may look a little bit different, but what you'll see is a lot of multiple formations. We'll just, uh, uh, you know, a lot of it is, you know, a lot of defensive coordinators, when you look at it, they either defend the field or they didn't defend the formation. So uh, we're, we're, we're going to out formation teams. We're going to run option stuff. We're going to run speed option, lead option, triple option. We're going to throw the ball around. We're going to be very, very, very multiple, and I think that's uh, it'll be an entirely different offense than what they've seen here at West, and it's kind of taken and what we've done and what I've done at Coleraine and kind of making a hybrid into here to West. So I'm I'm really excited. And that's been fun to me, uh, for me, and, that, and I'm really excited to see this some work. And then we'll talk about your defense, uh, defensive coordinator Carlton Gray. And uh, I just had a chance to interview David Jones Jr., really good young man who's committed to UC. Uh, What's on that side of the ball? How are you going to set up there? Well, they'll carry us. I mean, that's that's where we got our strength. I think we got seven or eight of those kids back from last year. The defense was 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 good last year. That was that was the strength of the team. They kept them a lot of games, and I think the Princeton game they basically won the Princeton game. I think that that game was won without an offensive touchdown by 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 us here at West. So uh, that, they'll carry us. That'll be the strength of our team. We're big up front and we're athletic up front. Uh, our linebackers are big and they can run, and our Secondary's experienced. We've got some shutdown guys at corners, and we got probably two of the smartest safeties that you'll ever see uh, playing behind them. So we're, we're going to be really good defensively. And I and and uh, and and I told the guys, you're going to carry us, you know. And and and, and I think. You know, even though I'm an offense guy, I've been calling the offense for all these years. You can ask anybody's why. I, you know, the only guy that's off limits is the quarterbacks. And I've always told my D coordinators, take who you want, because if they can't score, uh, we're going to win a lot of games. So that, that's what's going to carry us. And one last question before I let you go here. Um, you, you've got to set up a new staff. How fun has that been for you? I mean, you probably had a bunch of the same guys forever in a day over at Colerain, yeah. but now you get a, you get to mold a new staff. How fun's that? Yeah, been? it's been it's 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 been pretty cool. There's been some challenges, but it's been really neat. When 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 Sean Cut right, who been my D coordinator for 11 years, got the job, I knew a lot of those guys would stay, and they should. Um, uh, but you know, I've got some former players of mine coming and coaching. Kept a lot of guys here from the from the old staff. We had a nice meeting, answering some questions. 
questions. Um, went over some expectations with them and all that. But that, that's that's different. It's kind of like um, uh, got to teach them what we're going to do. Uh, Carlton's got a great foundation in the odd front defense, which we're going to run a lot of. Uh, we'll be a little bit more multiple there. So so that was good there. But offensively going over, it, it's been. Um, that's part of it. I feel, you know, a little rejuvenated, a little uh, – it, it's been really good getting to uh, help coach everybody along. There you go. Tom Bolden, the head coach of Lakota West Firebirds. Check, keep your eye on these guys this year. They're going to be fun to watch. Thank you. Absolutely.